Okay, now we are going to start with the second exercise. So the second exercise is MVC of an iOS application. Now we have to create a new project. So whenever I say I create a new project, I literally do not want you to create a new project. I just want you to create a new folder under your session progress folder. So I say two dot MVC. MVC stands for model view controller. The entire Cocoa touch framework is based on the MVC architect. Most of all the IT industrial standard works on the MVC architect. So the entire MVC design pattern is given by the framework. So it's a very good platform to explore the design patterns. So I'll go to the previous folder, I'll copy the project and I'll paste that same project into my new folder. So as you go on learning a new topic, you're gonna keep on archiving your previous topic and at the end of the course, when you complete all your topics, you're gonna get the demonstrated project live in front of you and you will be seeing the entire learning curve okay so when you do a revision on your own you will be more confident and you will be ready to produce some really cool apps okay so we will now start with this particular project now in this exercise we will understand what is window why view controller class has been created how model view and controller are linked with each other so every framework basically have its own MVC pattern. So we'll see how iOS or say how Cocoa Touch framework have its own MVC pattern. So I want to create some command space. So okay. now every controller is a junction. It's a junction where model meets the view. So whenever you create a new class, it needs to be a part of three camps, either model camp or the view camp or the controller camp. And if you see a free a road, a junction, the junction is a place where two roads meet. So basically a controller is a junction where model meets the view. If your junction is clean, the traffic on the road will be much less. So if your controller code is as clean as possible, the flow of data between the model and view will be fast, which will result in a better performance. So every framework have its own way of combining. Now in respect to the iOS or a controller always have one-on-one -on -one relationship with the view. So whenever you create a controller, you're gonna have a view associated with directly with the controller. Whereas model, if you want, you can have it. So, so controller will always has a relationship with view, one-on-one. -on -one. So it's one-on-one. -on -one. But every view can have multi-view relationship. So every view can have n numbers of views attached to it. So if you see a controller perspective, controller controls one view and that view internally if it has more view it will be controlling them. So a view hierarchy is nothing but a stack. Hierarchy of view is nothing but stack but at the base it's a controller's view. Now you can imagine model view and control architect as a human being standing with a blackboard. So the instructor brain is a model. Instructor hand is a controller and the blackboard is a view. So it's a hand which communicates with the brain and it writes on the blackboard. So we say model meets view through controller or at the controller. So whatever there was in our instructor's brain got mapped to the blackboard 
via a head. So whenever you get confused about the MVC concept, just imagine an instructor with a blackboard and you will get it done. So in terms of the abstract class, the controller in the Cocoa Touch are abstracted from UIV controller. So every controller class will be a subclass of the UIV controller. Obviously, NS object is a root class of all. View will be UI view and model will make it more generalized saying it will be NS object. So we are clear with the MVC architecture. Now comes what is UI window. So you understand that okay, controller class is created because it's a junction and every application should have one junction and should have can have multiple junctions. So the body of significant you know, window. Now if you see the hierarchy of window, you will be seeing that UI window is a UI view. So is this the same view? which get associated with the controller? I would say no. UI window is a spatial view which is the root view of the application view hierarchy. Now imagine you want to uh, Instructor, right? He has a blackboard. Now, instructor has a blackboard. Does the blackboard on its own can stand? No. A blackboard needs a support, a wall or a stand. So that wall or a stand is nothing but window. So when an audience sees the instructor with the blackboard, it they see the focus area of window, and then on top of the window you have the blackboard so window act as a root of your view hierarchy beyond window is nothing and if window is not there your application or your blackboard won't exist so when you start the app you need first the window then you need a controller when you create a controller automatically a view get associated that means in terms of the instructor example you will first create the wall and you will create the hand of the instructor. So with the hand, you get the blackboard free of cost as per the Cocoa Artage framework. Then you have to put that blackboard on top of the wall. Then only the wall will, your blackboard will be invisible or in the focus area. And then there is a curtain, you say open the curtain. So when a curtain opens the window, obviously audience will see the blackboard. So this is called a typical setup of the application. So we'll set up this application so that our MVC is created and then we'll start going ahead. So we come to the so now I need to import view controller because I need my hand to be created which is represented by the view controller class which is created by the template. Now as we are aware of with the ARC coming in picture Strong is by default. Non-atomic is meant for the UI related thing. So I say view controller extend or say base controller variable. So I just give the name called base controller. So you relate that. Okay. This controller view is directly attached to the window. So if you see a view controller dot edge, it extends UI view controller. So it's a valid view control. Now we know that this method gets called first. So we need to set up that four step which we discussed creation of window, creation of the controller, adding the controller view on top of the window and removing and making the window visible. So first we are going to create self.window. I say UI window alloc init. We are going to use another method called init with frame which takes CG rack. Now whenever you initialize a view related data structures or the objects 
always it needs to be initialized with the frame so we want to say cg right make a rectangle can be defined by x y top left origin width and height so i say i want to take the full screen now why full screen not any other dimension you are just creating as per the iphone dimension which was launched during the 2008 right now why full screen will discuss sorry um why full screen will discuss when will be doing a responder change the interactivity Okay, sorry. Now, so why we using full screen? We'll discuss when we start with the responder chain or the UI touch events and all. So first step, I created the window. The next step, I'll say base controller. Now, it's of type view controller and generation. Now I'm using a normal init, the default constructor for the controller, but I didn't use the default constructor, but I used init with frame, which was declared in UI view. Now I we in Objective C use self dot. In other language, you don't require to call these dots. But as we have seen, properties and I Y are different in terms of Objective C. So in order to distinguish that the proper accessor method gets called, it always prefer to use dot operator with properties. Now I have to associate the window with the base controller. So there's a property called root view controller, and with this line of code, what we are saying to the systems that whichever view the controller holds should be added on the window. So base controller view will be directly associated with the window. So we have put that thing. A blackboard on the top of the window, and then the fourth line, last line, it says make key and visible. So this is the four steps, and now let's implement the constructor in controller, and let's see whether it's getting called or not. So the typical constructor in Objective C. Is something like this. We call super init self, and I say put it on self. 
I'll write ns log and say init call. Let's run this application and see the whether the method is getting called or not. So init get call and the screen is black in color. We'll see how to change the background color of the screen. Now you want to change the blackboard color. So you'll be writing code inside the controller because controller is containing that blackboard. So I say self dot view dot background color. Now this auto suggestion gives you a lot of information. It's a property, it's of type UI color and an object you see because there's a pointer. So whenever you see a pointer, you have to make square bracket, write the type, followed by the space and press escape key on your keyboard. When you press the escape key, it shows all the methods which are associated with UI color. Select the method which returns UI color. So the hell amount of method. So I say amount, say yellow color. So I'll see yellow color. I click and I get the yellow color. Cool, right? So you don't have to remember the syntax. Auto suggestion will give you all the needed information. Wow. So it's very simple to change the color. Objective C coding is very simple, right? So I hope everyone are clear with the MVC pattern of the iOS. So that's complete the MVC of the iOS and we'll move to the next topic.